Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us verify the fact that the optimal weights for a neural network will be same whether we maximize the likelihood function of the uh, target values or the minimize the error between the target values and the uh, neural network output. Let us consider a neural network with one input layer, one hidden layer and the input layer has D inputs and the hidden layer has M units and we have one output and this is the output is Y of Xn, W where n is the index of the input. Let us consider that we have n inputs. That is, the input matrix x is equal to the sequence of vectors x1, x2, up to xn, up to capital xn, I mean x capital n. So, we have n inputs, a sequence of n vectors, and we also have target vector t, which has n target values that is t1, t2 up to tn. In this example we consider that target t is a scalar. I mean, target tn is a scalar and t is, this is a vector. So uh, given given these values our goal is to find out the optimal weights basically in terms of neural network training we want to find the optimal weights w given by the following function that is y of xn comma w where y is also a scalar is equal to the sigmoid function of summation j equal to 0 to m w j where j equal to 0 corresponds to the bias uh, into h of that is the activation function of the hidden unit of the summation i equal to 0 to d w j i x i when x n of i that is uh, the nth input and the ith component of this nth input vector. So, this is the output of the two layer artificial neural network. Uh, now our goal is to show that the optimal weights w are same irrespective of whether we optimize the likelihood function of the target vector t or we minimize the error between the targets and the outputs of the neural network. So the error between the outputs and the uh, target values is defined as error function of w defined as e of w is equal to 1 by 2 summation n equal to 1 to capital N y of x n comma w minus t n whole square. So, this is the error function between the output of the neural network and the target values. And ne next, the uh, the likelihood function of the, prob uh, the the target vector is given by probability of t given uh, the inputs and the weights is equal to the product of all the probability probability distributions or probability density functions of the individual target values that is probability of t n given x n comma w. So, assuming that the, each of the targets are identical and independently distributed then the uh, probability of the whole target vector is equal to product of the individual probabilities or probabilities of the individual target values. So, by using this definition and we also know that probability of the individual target value uh, given the input on the parameter w we have is equal to a normal distribution with the mean equal to the output x uh, y of x n comma w and the variance is given by a value beta inverse where beta is the inverse variance parameter. So, now starting with the optimization problem that is we want to find the optimal w that maximizes this likelihood function that is argument maximizing w where w maximum likelihood WML is equal to argument that maximizes logarithm of P of T given X comma X comma W. Note that this is a capital X, the matrix X which consists of all the vectors of all the vectors X1 to Xn. So, this is logarithm of probability of T given X comma W. But we know that this is equal to this product and this product and each of these values is given by this normal distribution. So, this becomes argument maximize the uh, the value of w that maximizes this logarithm of this probability i mean this log likelihood so logarithm of 1 by 2 pi power n by 2 into beta inverse power n by 2 into exponential of minus and for each tn this uh, the exponent of this distribution is given by tn minus y of xn comma w whole square into beta by 2 and since we have n 
such functions, I mean, and such probability and such probability density functions, we have a summation n equal to one to capital N. So this is the log likelihood of the target vector. We can clearly see that these two parameters are independent of the where these two functions are independent of W, so we can ignore them, and we have W M L is equal to argument that maximizes log of exponential of this function is equal to this function. So we have minus beta by 2 summation n equal to 1 to n t n minus y of x n comma w whole square. So clearly this is equivalent to argument that minimizes uh, the value of w that minimizes by ignoring this constant we have summation n equal to 1 to n t n minus y of x n comma w whole square which is nothing but the error between the target values and the output of the neural network, which is obviously the error function. Therefore, WML, the weights calculated by maximizing the likelihood function, the log likelihood function, is equivalent to the weights calculated by minimizing the error function, that is minimum error function, WM, WM minimum MSC function, is equal to argument that minimizes, argument uh, the that is equal to the value of w that minimizes the minimizes the error function given by this equation. So, for a artificial neural network, when the target values are independent, uh, independent and identically distributed, then we can clearly say that the optimal weights are same whether we maximize the likelihood function of the target values or minimize the error function between target values and the outputs of the neural network. Thanks for watching.